Today's topic is SnapR, how to set up an account. SnapR is the Bureau of Industry and Security's secure web portal for exporters to submit export license applications, commodity classification requests, re-export licenses, and the notification requirement under license exception agricultural commodities. In this video, I will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to register for a SnapR account. Section 748.7 .7 of the Export Administration Regulations provides instructions on how to register for a SnapR account. There are three ways to get to the SnapR login page. To begin, navigate to the Bureau of Industry and Security website at www.bis.doc.gov and hover the mouse over Licensing on the blue menu bar. In the drop-down menu, hover the mouse over Simplified Network Application Process Redesign. SnapR, yep, that's what SnapR stands for. On the next menu that pops up, click on SnapR Online Registration and Login to get to the SnapR login page. The second way is to click on Exporter Portal from the home page and then click on the SnapR Login icon. The third way is to type in the SnapR web address directly into your browser. In addition to this video, there are frequently asked questions and login and registration help guides available on this webpage to guide you through SnapR. To register for an account, click on Register Online for a SnapR account below the login box. Fill in the information requested on the following page. The fields with red asterisks are required. Please note that PO box addresses are not allowed. Double check that the address you entered is correct because you may be asked about this on the following page. Read the certifications and click on the two boxes below the certification indicating that you have read, understand, and agree with the conditions. Finally, click on Submit My Registration. Sometimes, you might receive a message that says, the address you typed in has failed our verification. This is common. If you are positive that you typed in the correct address and you did not enter a PO box, then go ahead and click Continue. If you click on No, go back to Register button, the information you previously entered will be deleted, and you will need to re-enter that information. After you select Continue, you will see this page which confirms that your registration was submitted. You will receive two emails from BIS. The first will be an email with a link to confirm that you provided the correct email address. You must click on the link to continue the registration process. The second email will include another link that will enable you to activate your SnapR account. You must activate your account within five days of registering for an account, or you will need to contact BIS at snapr at bis.doc.gov to request that the invitation email be resent. Here are some helpful tips when getting started with SnapR. First, if you don't see any emails from BIS, check your spam or junk folder. Second, to increase efficiency, set up security questions. By setting up security questions, you will be able to reset your password and login IDs and receive reminders for your company identification number without assistance from BIS or your company SnapR administrator. Third, you may want to consider designating more than one person as an account administrator for the company SnapR account. This feature is available under SnapR self-management. To ensure efficient processing of license applications and commodity classification requests, the creator of each work item is able to provide user rights to other company SnapR users by clicking on Manage User Rights in the work item. That way, if you're out of the office for any reason, the additional account holder will be able to respond to BIS requests. If you have any questions related to registering or signing into SnapR, please contact the SnapR Help Desk at 202-482-2227. Thank you for watching this online video and happy exporting!